Today we will do follow-up questions of a topic, dash, describe risk you have taken which had a positive response. Question 1. Why do some people enjoy extreme sports? Answer, well, I assert due to some reasons dangerous sports are famous among a few individuals. The very first reason, I guess, is they want to try some thrilling activities in their life. Moreover, for some, it is their passion as they think that before dying, they want to feel the fear of death. For example, nowadays, many extreme sports are popular, which are bung jumping, paragliding, bullfighting and so on. Question number 2. Are action films popular in your country? Answer yes, I must say action-packed movies are earning highly due to its fictional exhibitions which makes movies prevalent among viewers. There are a number of Bollywood, Tollywood and Pollywood movies, such as Ek That Tiger, DSP, Dev, War, Doom and Saho. Furthermore, viewers' brains become very alert and active throughout the entire move. Question number 3. Do you think it is a good thing if a leader likes to take a risk? Answer I reckon that taking risks means stepping outside of your comfort zone. Furthermore, risk taking is a human trait and plays a major role in the life of leaders. When your team sees you initiating risks and stepping out of your comfort zone, they will feel more comfortable and confident doing the same. Therefore, I think it is fine provided that leaders take a risk for the team. Question number 4. Do you think men and women will make a different choice about risk taking? Answer gender differences are disappearing nowadays. Due to which I think generalizing it is quite difficult since women, in these days, can be just as risky as men or even riskier. For instance, both genders share the same risky sports, like car racing, bungee jumping and wrestling. Question number 5. What about the young and old one? Answer in my opinion, there is no age limit in terms of trying anything in life. Likewise, we cannot make a difference between young and old one in this matter because it totally depends on the risk taker's ability and interest. There are a lot of young people who take risk however some youngsters even do not want to come outside their comfort zone and this same thing can be seen in older people. Question number 6. What can be the results if someone takes the risk without precautions? Answer a person can adversely harm his life if he does not go for the precautionary measures. And his activity can also influence others to repeat the same. At times, a person can encounter problems in terms of friendship, business, and games. Question number 7. Why people take risk? Answer as I just said before. There are two major reasons why individuals are interested to indulge themselves in risky activities. First and foremost, I guess, they want to try some thrilling activities in their life. Additionally, for some, it is their passion as they think that before dying, they want to feel the fear of death. For example, nowadays, many extreme sports are popular, which are bunging jumping, paragliding, bullfighting and so on. Question number 8. For example, in TV shows, risk-taking programs are shown. Do you think it can influence other people to repeat the same? Answer, as per my experience, yes they do influence other people because they are thrilling and people's frenzy mind can be easily diverted. For instance, I have often seen my cousins imitating wrestling moves without any precautions and they tend to harm themselves. Moreover, all stunts on TV shows are performed under the proper guidelines. There is a huge difference between real life and real life. When we see stunt scenes, these look very feasible to perform which are not in actual life, so definitely I can say these shows influence viewers negatively. Question number 9. What is your opinion on children when they watch these sorts of shows? Answer by watching these sorts of shows. Children can view the world as a mean and scary place as it may exert an adverse impact on their mental health. They can become more aggressive and violent in nature. Also, they can harm themselves physically by trying these stunts without supervision. Question number 10. 
If these sorts of shows are shown and viewers imitate the same, what should be done to prevent it or how these shows can be controlled? Answer according to my perception, it should be the owners of government, parents and individuals on their own. There should be an age limit along with the precautionary measures to perform these stunts and show producers must ensure to subtitle guidelines. If these shows are being watched by children, parents must control their activity. However an individual is interested to do so, all measures should be followed strictly and properly, aiming at avoiding injuries. Well, if it is extreme, it should be banned completely. Question number 11. For some people, this sort of activity is a source of income, and then if we will put a restriction, it can harm them financially. What do you think? Answer I do agree that for some people it is their livelihood and if it is banned, they will be under financial crisis. While I do not want to be stopped it, in fact, these shows must be presented on TV, I believe there should be some controlling methods. Question number 12. What about the self-defense classes in your country? Answer well, Indian people are well known to the term self-defense, but they might hesitate or afraid to adopt it. However, I will not say it is the same in the whole country as modern and educated people are taking their stands nowadays, enrolling their children into self-defense classes and even many schools are introducing self-defense classes in their curriculum. Therefore, I believe this must be introduced in the whole country.